All right. In that case, let's see if we can pop on to the next stage here for the Aston Martin Valhalla Concept Car Special Event. To skip stage eight, because unfortunately we don't yet have a two star. Until we can get it up to rank five speed. Let's get him past that. Did stage nine a little bit earlier this morning, so that brings us to stage ten. Sunday stage. Alright, finish race, jumps, first win with the Aston Martin Vantage. And the time trials, 44 seconds. Mostly jumps. We only get three runs done anyway. Yeah, there are a lot of creative things that you can definitely do with the and in game action. Got the jumps we need anyway. More than fast enough. Good, good. Nice when things work out. Enough event takes two more runs. Let's jump at the end. Yep, we're good. Wait. A little worried there. Alright, one more run. Or like a tiddlywink. Okay. 
first barrel roller. Sorry. Dude, I lost track of myself. Yeah, that'll be. Didn't need to win anymore anyway. That's why I normally don't 360 off of that. Don't always quite aim the landing. Yeah, so I have two more runs to do with stage 10 here. Have no problem being able to do that later this afternoon. I think the same for stage 9. Yep. Till we get the Jaguar start up further, but don't expect to do that anytime soon. Tomorrow, I'll have to check out stages 11 and 12. Which will be the DBS Super Ligera. Of course, the Valhalla. Pretty much more of the same idea. Short track race, finish under 45. And knockdowns instead of stunts and jumps. Knockdowns and of course the race times. Always fun escape races. Up to almost half. Pumps a little bit further ahead of me. Guessing he would have done. Days as well, so that would give him an extra three from that. 